The full 2022 budget for Monroe County has been unveiled by County Executive Adam Bello this afternoon, making some big promises regarding tax cuts and funding. In some areas, tax rates are being cut to the lowest they've been in years. News 8's Alex Love joins us live to break down the details. Alex. So this proposed 2022 budget for Monroe County slightly increases spending to $1.28 billion, but its, infla it, its, its inflation rate comes out 2% lower than the national inflation rate. It also cuts property tax rates down to the lowest they've been since 2003. If passed by county legislatures, homeowners could pay a tax rate of $8.46 per $1,000 of assessed value. The budget also focuses on public safety by, in by investing an additional 4.9 million dollars in the sheriff's office plus increasing the budget for the DA's office a little more than six percent and a little more than three percent for the county department of public safety services to save children from homelessness or caught running away will also see a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar boost in funds as well as more staffing for the county youth bureau this budget really does reflect the fact uh, that we need to be responsible with taxpayers' dollars and that we have to look for common sense solutions to solve problems that are really impacting people's lives, right? We're not out there looking for, for things that don't exist. It's pretty common sense here. Uh, we're looking to get people uh, uh, invest in public safety and public health. We're investing in the economy and workforce development and in infrastructure. I think that's what people want. The budget also calls for eliminating the $2.5 million slush fund that Bellow called was for Republican pet projects. We reached out to the president of the Republicans in, in the legislature for Monroe County, Steve Brew. He called that phrase insulting and says it goes to benefit, to benefit projects for veterans as well as Monroe County Parks. Live in Rochester, Alex Love, News 8. All right, Alex, thank you. If the budget passes, Frontier Field would get a $12 million investment to meet Major League Baseball regulations on safety and infrastructure since the property is county-owned.